the question I want to be answered in Lindau is where or when scientists think of the best ideas. I think it's very important to have interaction with other people that not necessarily think like one and that um, in, interact a lot and that have like to do discussions and that not only think that their way is the right way, that there are many ways to get to a consensus and to the, the right procedure. Either riding your bike at night or probably I'm afraid to say so. In the toilet. <laughs> My experience, ideas usually show up when you least expect them. So never try to catch them by force. Otherwise, you never have any kind of idea. Usually, I get my ideas uh, when I'm in the nature, when I'm running. So I leave everything behind me and just jump into my my shoot and then off the trail and then yeah, some ideas really come into my mind. Personally, I don't believe that there is one eureka moment that you say, "Wow, that's it." You know, after you find something, you say to yourself, "Wow, there is something here that was unexpected, and maybe we shall further investigate it." You know, we always run to the library to find papers on previous findings. We always listen to other people. We build on the past. But new findings have no past. There is no precedent. There is no paradigm. So I think that the trick here is to believe that the little finding that you have does really indeed represent a new truth. But the, the, the idea is to filter out the multitude of artifacts from the single one that looks like an artifact, but actually it's not. But then you have no paradigm. Then you're really alone. Nobody is there to help you because there is no precedent. You have to crack it down by yourself. So there is not really a moment that you say, wow, I discovered the ubiquitin system. Here it is, the drugs, the Alzheimer, the I don't know what. No, it's a step by step by step. You need to be an opportunist. You need to know to jump and to grab an opportunity. And if somebody tells you, wow, there is something here, you know, examine it and be quick on it. And, and jump on it and, and then work it out. So you do need to walk around with your eyes open and your hands are ready to grab okay. it. So there are opportunities, but lots of work, lots of sweat. So just to summarize, part of the students got their best ideas in really funny places. Some of the students got their ideas in more serious places and there is one Nobel laureate who thinks that uh, good ideas don't come easy.